Yo, YouTube, the Hajibul here. I'm a language learner from the United States. And in this video, I'd like to talk about why I like to learn languages. For me, it's been about seven years and languages have added a lot of value to my life. It's basically one of my main hobbies and there's a lot of reasons that I like to learn languages. Uh, one of the main reasons is there's always more to learn. And that's regardless if we're talking about just one language or the whole field in general. Like, I could get really good in a target language. Good enough to be able to understand what's going on around me or you know, be able to talk to whoever I like to, but there's still going to be more knowledge, like new words, new phrases. And also like in the scope of all the languages, there's still more and more. I think there's thousands of languages in the world. So just that fact right there, there's always more to learn. It's like a really engaging process being able to continually, continually move forward. Another reason I like to learn languages is it's like a very niche subject. There's just not a lot of people doing it. So when I'm able to uh, talk to people about it or I'm able to speak languages in front of other people, it always comes with like a very personal, like special type of feeling. Other people aren't in the position to, you know, let other people know the process of learning a new language from scratch. But I am able to do that. And I enjoy that there's something that I do that so many people would like to be able to do. And really, they do have the opportunity to. But I'm one of the ones that's actually doing it. And I, I like that. I like that about learning languages. And languages have actually like given a lot of value to my life. Even like the way I look at myself, the ways other people perceive me, all of the different experiences I've been able, been able to have. I can now like look at myself and look at my journey and feel like a lot more gratitude. I can feel like I'm actually living a life worth living. I'll say that at one point, I actually like really needed direction and languages was, was a thing that helped me to get engaged with who I am and helped me get engaged with the process of actually living. I love learning languages. And then travel. Before all of this, I never even considered traveling. But now I've lived in China. I lived in Africa. I've been to Mexico. And really, language learning and traveling, they actually go like hand in hand. Um, and it's, it's been really cool. That's an interesting like aspect of the journey. I feel like traveling is good for anybody, but if you're a language learner, it adds like a lot of dynamics to what you're able to do with the language. Being in the middle of all those people who are speaking the language that you're trying to learn, um, it's giving me opportunity to hear like a lot of phrases or see people's body mannerisms. I'm talking about like the natives of the language, you know, see how See how they really behave when they're comfortable. Traveling is, is another reason that I, I like to learn languages. And it just makes the whole process overall better and more fulfilling. Another reason is actually people. Language learning has given me a reason to really be able to 
connect with people. It's so many different types of people as well that I wouldn't have talked to before. Like a grandparent. I'm so okay with if I see a native speaker who's like much older than I am, um, approaching them and speaking with them in their language. And we'll have great conversations that are actually engaging and sincere and where we're actually, you know, talking about things that are more than just surface level conversations. I think at one point in my life, I was actually like very, very uh, closed off from other people. Uh, introverted. One, and one reason was I didn't like having surface level conversations. Just, hi, how are you doing? Good afternoon. Uh, just talking about very basic things. But when I'm able to speak with these people about where they're from, their life experience, how they got to the point, you know, where they are now, their families, it means a lot more. And I'm able to build close, sincere relationships with people um, from all walks of life. Asians, Latinos, Africans, Europeans. I get to see all these different types of perspectives and I didn't know it was going to mean a lot to me, but it does. It means a lot to me to have friends all over the world. It means a lot to me to see these people uh, embrace me. A lot of people are stuck on the topic of racism, but with languages, I get to break that racial boundary and get embraced by people and get shown love by people. I've had all kinds of different native speakers invite me to their homes, invite me to their family events. Um, and treat me on a level higher than they would treat, you know, people who are already in their lives. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for what languages have given me. Uh, thank you for everybody who has, you know, stuck through watching this. If you're considering learning languages, I say, be patient with yourself. Find out how you're able to do it in ways that work for you. If you're already a language learner, you know we got to keep it going. This is the gift that keeps on giving. The Hodgeable here, if, if you're into the content, go ahead, leave us like. Subscribe to the channel. We're only going up. And again, thank you for watching. Peace.